With Hurricane Ophelia fast approaching, it was time for Bardsey to prepare itself for the coming onslaught. Ominous clouds rolled overhead, slowly persuading the storm in our direction. Hurricane Ophelia originated in the centre of the Atlantic, lying dormant for quite some time before low pressure over Britain and Ireland enticed it to our shores. Slowly tracking north, the hurricane lost some of its momentum before finally hitting the British Isles. As follows is a brief look at the effect of this tremendous storm on Bardsey. The storm first struck our shores shortly after 10 o'clock. Moderate winds of 20 to 30 miles per hour gusted over the island before slowly building in momentum. but already we're getting the first siege of this incredible storm. I mean, the wind speeds are supposed to reach up to over 80 miles per hour by this evening, but this afternoon we're already in the 50 mile an hour winds and you can see the immense power of these waves. They're reaching over 10, 20 meters in the air. And this is only the beginnings of this incredible storm. The views are spectacular across the island. The south end is being covered in waves, in all. Just an amazing experience, and I've never seen anything like it before in my life. As the day continued, the winds grew relentlessly stronger, each wave bigger than the last. With the waves and winds reaching a critical condition and the tides rising, the seals found themselves sheltering in the bays around the island. Even here, the waves were only marginally better. Instead, the best spots are found on the land, where this young seal pup has sought refuge. Even here, however, the pup isn't completely out of the clutches of the storm, but a quick wander further up the beach, and he's back on safe ground. Turnstones. A migrant through Bardsey took suit and sheltered in sulphur. Away from the treacherous seas, which few birds dared traverse. However, in these challenging conditions, one bird thrives. The purple sandpiper. Built for the strong winds, the purple sandpiper has the most northerly wintering grounds of any near Arctic wader. A 
A small group of approximately 25 birds scattered the rocks around Sulphur, seeking shelter from the wind. With the storm surge forcing the sandhoppers up the beach, a feast was set for the sandpipers to indulge in. But fortunately for the sandpipers, the menu wasn't limited to just sandhoppers. <laughs> 